Okay, here we're going to find an equation of a hyperbola that has vertices at positive and negative 9 comma 0 and the asymptotes uh, of y equals positive and negative 5x. Okay, so, so our, our vertices are at 9 comma 0 and negative 9 comma 0. Okay, so I know it's going to be opening to the left and to the right. So already based on that, I know that I'm going to use the equation x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. Again, a is the distance from wherever it's centered, again, in this case, the origin, to one of the vertices. So in this case, I know that a is going to equal positive 9. So again, the only thing we're really missing is this value for b. Okay, well... We haven't used our asymptotes yet. Okay, so we have these asymptotes of our parabola. Okay, and again, we know the equations, for example, this would be um, y equals positive 5x, and this would be the line y equals negative 5x. What we do, though, to the relationship between the slope of these asymptotes, there's a, re there's a relationship between the slope and our b and a value. And the relationship is that our asymptotes are going to be of the form y equals positive and negative b over a times x. So this is going to be an important little formula because, again, uh, we know what b, we're trying to figure out what b is, we know what a is, and that'll allow us to do this. So again, we've got that y equals positive and negative, well, 5 over 1 times x. So what that tells me is simply that b over a is going to have to equal 5 over 1. Okay, so, so b over a equals 5 over 1. Again, we know what our a value is. We said that a was equal to 9. So we'll get b over 9 equals 5. Well, if we multiply both sides by 9, multiply both sides by 9, that's simply going to leave us with b equals 45. And now we've got everything that we need. Let's see. So, um, so our equation is going to be x squared over a squared. We said a was equal to 9 minus y squared over b squared. Again, b was equal to 45. If we square that, set that equal to 1. Um, you could leave it like this. You could always simplify it down. Um, let's see, that's x squared over 81 minus y squared over, let's see, what's 45 times 45? Um, you've probably got a calculator. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. So, 45 times 45, maybe you can do this in your head. So that's 225, 0, 2, 16, 18. I'm getting uh, 2,025, so you can check my arithmetic there. Equals 1. And again, that's the equation of our, um, of our, hyper our, our hyperbola in this example. So again... Um, you know, it's just all recognizing, you know, hey, what does A equal, what does B equal, what is, you know, not in this case, sometimes you need that C value as well, which is to the foci, but in this case, we can deduce our A and B, um, again, using this relationship uh, that it's going to be positive and negative B over A, and again, we're given the slope, so that's going to allow us to, to, to figure that out. Um, one little thing worth pointing out. If your hyperbola is opening upwards and downwards, we actually use the relationship. So, so if your hyperbola is opening upwards and downwards, in that case, we actually use y equals positive negative a over b times x. So things are, uh, you know, you have to be a little careful. One more little nuance to remember. So, but again, for this type of hyperbola, we use this relationship b over a.